today's application is Doc, created by the same guy who made QuickDo or MQuickDo. And I have an application or a video for that up on my channel. You can go check that out. I'll put a link up somewhere. I'm not sure where yet. But uh, this is a pretty cool application, and I'll go ahead and show it to you. It's not uh, a button per se, but what you do is you slide your finger along the bottom uh, to along the sides, basically from the bottom, or that's changeable in settings. I'll show you a little bit later. But when you do, this comes up, and it's a stack of your running, which is shown by these Mac esque little lights, like you have in your dock on a Mac, and uh, what's not running, which are these other ones right here and uh, those are settable by creating uh, shortcuts. Uh, so just a quick overview of this application is this area. What you can do is you can hold down and drag into this area to create an alias and or to create a shortcut, which means that when this application stops running, it will remain in my dock and uh, is shown by that little alias symbol. Um, also, you can quit applications by clicking, holding down, and dragging them to the right, which removes that Mac has the light, which means it's no longer running. But since this has been set as an Elias, it will stay in my dock, or pseudo dock, I guess. Uh, also, you can launch applications directly from it. So I'll go ahead and launch Guitar Toolkit directly from it. And that's the primary reason why you would use this. And it can be, you can use it within applications or from the springboard. Uh, but the uh, icon looks like this, and we'll go ahead and open it up and show you some of the settings that you can have in the level of personalization for this application. So you can, obviously you can turn it off, you can turn off icon rotation, um, and you can turn off showing badges, which is, you know, just sort of personal preference. Most important is activation methods. Now, you can have the double tap or short hold on the status bar, but a lot of applications have been pulling from the status bar, such as SP settings, snap tap, you know, all or snap, yeah, snap tap, snappy, all that kind of stuff, all pulls from the status bar, and so it's kind of difficult to have one more thing on there. Uh, you can have the home button, but again, a lot of applications pull from the double tap or the short hold of the home button. Um, you can have your slides, which is what I have, and it's the left left corner and the right corner slide, which shows that if you you know slide from the bottom right, or from the you know the bottom up and the bottom up, that activates it. Uh, and that's what I have set right now, but it's all a matter of preference and what you already have uh, designated. But as far as I know, there's no other application that has bottom, you know, the left corner slide or the right corner slide, so that may be a good uh, setting for you. But um, very simple to use, very easy to use, and just to show you how easy it is, I'm going to go ahead and open that back up and uh, open up Doc. And as you can see, we have little Mac S thing, but if we want to leave it in there, uh, we can go ahead and drag it here. And it'll get that little Elias symbol, and then if we want to quit it, even if we're in the application, we just drag it over there, and it quits, and now we have it in our dock forever, and so if we ever want to launch dock and change the settings, we can from any application or the springboard at any point. But a uh, very useful application, something that's just sort of uh, uh, an add-on to the UI of your iPhone, which will allow you to do quicker apps, you know, switching, and... Uh, just make your life a little bit easier. But this has been Kyle from Mission Start, and uh, thank you for watching.